All right, let's move on. Um, don't forget to read more about uh, LIFO and FIFO from the books. You will certainly have advantages and disadvantages connected with these uh, methods. Okay, so do go through them and you might probably also have something regarding uh, simple average method and weighted average method. Uh, I will be looking into it after I completed the important parts because uh, that portion is not really important. Uh, simple average and everything. Okay, but okay, let's let's do it then. Let's give me let me give you an idea about that also because we already have an example in front of us. The the method we did was average value of cost. But if you want to value your stock on simple average basis, what you are going to do is you will add up the the goods that you have bought, okay, together. Uh, how many units do you have bought? It is seven, nine, and one thousand units, right? Okay, and. Or, no, it's not like this, hold on. Uh, you have four different kinds of rates, 600, oh, sorry, 60 plus 70 plus 80 plus 90. Add them up, divide, it over, divide them over four, and you will have the average rate. And you will use that single rate to rate every issue you are going to make to the production hall. Okay, so in our case, it will be how much? Hold on, this is my calculator. Seventy-five. Okay, every issue, every ish number of uh, uh, cumulated weighted average. It's not basically a weighted average. It's it's more of a simple average that you are simply adding up all the values of the rates that you have or the slab rates you have for the different packages you bought and then taking an average. It's not cumulative weighted average, it's simple average. Okay, but as I said, we do have a lot of other techniques uh, like HIFO, highest in first out, that is also a technique. Then we can also have next in first out. I mean, you will be using the rate uh, which is for which you still haven't bought anything. NIFO is just another name of market price uh, method. Okay, so as I said again, we have a lot of methods, but the ones we, sh we should be studying for ME2 is just FIFO, LIFO, and FCO. Okay, but if you are interested in learning other ones, we'll be doing it in some other free time when we don't have anything to do, okay? All right. Uh, okay, let's uh, understand the periodic weighted average also. It's quite easy as well. So then we'll finish up everything that in different books we have. So simple average is that you will be adding up the rates together, okay? And then dividing it over the number of uh, values we have, so it will get 75 and all of the issues will be valued at $75. Whereas in periodic weighted average, what you will do is you will add up the values of, of the purchases. So it's like 6,000 plus 14,000 plus 24,000 <clears> plus 36,000. Add these values up. So we have 20, 44, 44 and 36, 80. 80,000 divided by 1,000 gives you 80. This will also give you one rate, but you know, you can see that the difference. 
okay you first of all calculate the values of the purchases and then you divide over divide over the number of units and there you have the rate now this will be a singular rate for all of the issues you are going to make to production hall well you know um, why uh, we have these different rates also depends on the inventory system we are using whether it is periodic or perpetual inventory system let me give you a brief view what is it is about in perpetual inventory system as and when you are purchasing as and when you are going to have the goods you will be making the records of that that means your recording will be done on runtime basis this is the same way we made our uh, store ledger cards in the five phone lifo like we were doing it on chronological order in a chronological order okay but and that is kind of a perpetual inventory system going on perpetual means as and when on runtime basis whereas in periodic inventory system what you do is you just go through with the transactions during the period but no recording will be done immediately what will happen is accountant will sit down once a week or once a month and he will process all and everything in just one day okay so what he will be doing most probably he will be recording all of the purchases and then he will be recording all the issues at once afterwards and that's where you can use these singular rates so it depends on the inventory system inventory recording system that you are using whether it is periodic or perpetual